Welcome back to day five of the science behind Jubilee Farm. And today we're looking at the really important issue of people. Having already looked at soil, at plants, at livestock and at wildlife, it's now time to consider our role in all of this. And a big part of what we do here at Jubilee Farm is connect people with nature. We connect people with nature in a number of ways. We have group visits, whether that's children or community groups. We also run an innovative care or social farming project working on one hand with refugees and asylum seekers, and on the other hand with adults with learning difficulties. And we do that because there are so many benefits that come to us out of spending time in and with nature. And science is only really starting to confirm what many people over thousands of years have known or had a hunch about that it is good for us. Recent studies, for example, have shown that spending time in a forest or in woodland like this, it lowers stress, it lowers blood pressure, it reduces cholesterol. It just makes us happier. It's good for us. It's good for body. It's good for mind and it's good for soul. As to the exact scientific mechanism of how that works, well, that's still a matter of debate and there may indeed be various things going on here, but some of the latest research points to plants and trees in particular, releasing certain phytochemicals that actually interact with us as human beings in some sort of way that makes us feel good and makes us feel better. As well as the science of it, there's also then the aspects of it that we can't really measure scientifically, that sense of wonder, that sense of awe at being in nature's cathedral, a beautiful woodland like this. And so spending time in nature reminds us as human beings that we've come from nature, but it also reminds us of our really unique role in ensuring its continuation, its preservation and its flourishing in the 21st century here at Jubilee Farm and indeed all across planet Earth. The second aspect of human coexistence with nature at Jubilee Farm is less about the science of well-being and our interactions with the world around us and it's more about the science of our dependence on the world around us. What nature does for us at the global scale, also at the local scale including right here at Jubilee Farm, is it provides us with a whole series of what we call ecosystem services. So things like running water and the, the cycling and filtration of water, things like the creation of soil, things like the climate and weather patterns and solar energy, all of those things the natural world is providing for us and providing for them for us for free. And in turn, we as human beings, all our activity, all our economic activity, our social activity is dependent on those ecosystem services. So that alone is reason enough to take care of this world around us because without nature, there is no human nature. The second aspect of that is not the provisioning aspect of ecosystem services, but it's something called cultural ecosystem services. It's no surprise that this beautiful landscape that we have here at Jubilee Farm and across Northern Ireland is really dear to our hearts as Northern Irish people, it's very hard to distinguish the landscape of Northern Ireland from the people of Northern Ireland. The beauty of the woods, the fields, the mountains, the water, the sky, all of that combines to create what we call cultural ecosystem services. This sense of wonder, this sense of, of beauty that we need as much as we need the tangible things that nature provides for us. And between those provisioning ecosystem services and the cultural ecosystem services, we're reminded here at Jubilee Farm, across Northern Ireland and across planet Earth, that we cannot separate human activity and human life from the world around us. In short, 
There is no history without geography.